Okay, so I just want to demonstrate that this equipment works. We have the Metro Omega Pat uh, MI2140, and I've linked it up via an adapter to the USB port of a Toshiba satellite. On Toshiba satellite, we've got Pat Link 2.1 ready to go, which I'll just enlarge so we can see it better. Um, and on the Megapat we have a main menu up already which is at the moment on auto test shortcut so we're going to enter that auto test shortcut and now it asks us for a code well very handily we've got a barcode reader here which I'll demonstrate works we point it to the appropriate card and it will come up with whatever you aim it at we want 003 and that's come up on that code there you can put that in manually but you know that's so nice isn't it to be able to do it with the barcode reader and then it says to, uh, press start to run auto test so we've got the kettle plugged in um, I'm not demonstrating how to do a pat test here by the way this is just to demonstrate the equipment that it actually works and it communicates so Let's press the start to run the auto test and now it's asking us to do the things which it can't do such as appliance case, check the case. When you're happy with that you press pass which is corresponds to F1 and then it's asking us appliance fuse, have you checked that and we'll press pass again. Appliance mains cable, we check it and you're happy, press pass again and now it's asking us to do the earth bond uh, test. We have the clip already clipped onto the kettle, we've got it plugged into the machine, we've got it plugged into the mains and it says press start for new test. We press start and now it's doing the earth bond clip test and it's saying three seconds to one pass. Now it's going straight on to the um, other tests involved uh, which is insulation test. Now it's telling us here the resistance is too high so we haven't to turn the kettle on. Turn it on. Are you sure to proceed? Yes. We press Y and there we're ready. It's going on there to do the impedance test. It's passed and now we're going to press start and remember the kettle's still on and it's going to say remove the earth pond clip, we don't need that on there press start to continue and now of course it's doing a test on the element to see how many kVA it is and it's come up as a pass on 2.8 kVA which is what you'd expect for an electric kettle of that size press start to proceed and now this time it's going to a new screen which is asking us to put a a number in to record it onto the Omega Pat. Um, it's come up with a previous number, so I'm just going to change that. Uh, we can put in, let's put in uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There we are. You've got quite a lot of digits you can put in there. Uh, and then we press enter. Oh no, we don't. We press save. See, we says save, F1, press save. It's now storing that into the memory. And now it's going on to the next pat test if you wanted to do another appliance. But we're going to ex escape from that and we'll go back to the main menu. And now it's asked, uh, we need to, what we want to do is send it from here, from this machine to your laptop. And on the auto, on the men, on the menu, uh, main menu screen, we need to scroll down to where it says recall stroke delete stroke send memory and when we're there we press enter and we've got to find the memory first in here and that is the button F1 it says find there it says there's seven of seven records right so what was the number what was it and one two three four five six seven eight wasn't it so that's right at the bottom there 
um, and now we're ready to send it to the to the to the laptop. Okay, so what we need to do is to be ready with the download button on there. We're going to press send and it's asking us do you want to send it to the PC or the printer? We want to send it to the PC in this case because that's what we're connected to and we press enter and it's asking us to connect to the printer. We click on download immediately it sent it straight across and there it is on your laptop okay if you leave it too long before you press either the download button or the send button on here it will come to an end and you'll have to restart the download or restart the uh, the send on here but it's really very simple you could work all day with the Amiga Pat storing all your memory and at the end of the day you can send them all in one go to your uh, laptop if you wish so you don't have to have this linked up all the time but I think it's really nice um, unfortunately I wasn't able to use it purchased it and things situation changed wasn't able to do to use it as I'd hoped but uh, I think anybody who would uh, like to take up pat testing will should consider themselves to have the bees knees here as far as uh, pat testing is concerned there are more expensive ones but I think this is probably uh, one of the best anyway yeah, I hope uh, you can enjoy that I hope that's uh, of some use to you you can see that it does actually work and uh, all the best with it hope you have fun